You just had on MSNBC, you had the uh, the reporter saying that Governor DeSantis does not want students to learn about slavery and its aftermath. Well, if you actually looked at what our standards are, not only is it not prohibited to teach that, it's required to teach that. It's required to teach all of those things. It's required under Florida statutes to teach about racial discrimination. And so they will say, oh, we, they had the school had to take a book about Hank Aaron off the shelf because it talks about he faced racial discrimination. And you're thinking like, okay, and why are they doing that? They're doing that to try to create a narrative. They're not doing that because Florida has a law or anything like that. They know that's not in the law, but they're doing it because they know there's enough people in corporate media who will just take that and will run with that. So we've got all these examples cataloged um, of basically media lies to try to do to try to do the hoax. A lot of this has been debunked. The Jacksonville person got, I think, got fired. There's a teacher in Central Florida that was doing really inappropriate things with the, in terms of what they were putting out online. So that's gone. And so at the end of the day, in Florida, um, you know, if it's explicit and porn pornographic, parents have the right to object, and it should be taken off. And then in terms of issues involving uh, American history, uh, it's very clear in Florida standards that we are required to teach all aspects of black history, not queer theory, but actual aspects of black history, including MSNBC, slavery and its aftermath, and including and required also uh, to teach uh, about the discrimination. So that is in, in the law. And so when they're trying to say they have to take a Roberto Clemente book or something like that, they are lying to you. And it's one thing for a, a, a stooge who's a partisan apparatchnik that may be in like a teacher union to try to do this, but to have corporate media not immediately shoot that down, because all you have to do is look up our standards, very easy to do. And so it's really just a reckless disregard for what the truth actually is. And you know, the good news about it is, I think because of the lack of guardrails on some of this stuff in terms of being able to do private suits, the, the standard have, has gotten lower and lower. Um, the preparation has gotten worse. Fact checking has gotten worse, all that stuff. But it, what it's done is it's created a situation where the vast majority of the people know that this is an agenda that's trying to be imposed on them. They know these are narratives, and so they don't typically believe it anymore. And I think that a lot of those outlets uh, only have themselves to blame.